We're looking for corn dogs because they're delicious. My name is Connor. I must find Amanda in this beautiful garden. This is a really nice freaking garden. Look at this. Mine wasn't too bad. That's good. I'm glad. Mine was very unproductive. We literally played video games all weekend and ate pizza. Yeah. I think it is. I think it's pretty great. Shreds makes you fat. Hey, it's not a bad thing. Okay, uh, is that Amanda? Hey. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Do the quote. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Um... It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? Um... I think he's irritable <laughs> and socially challenged. A robot? But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Mm, adapt? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I Oh, she did not like that shit. To accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Okay. I don't know why she didn't like that adapt answer. I like the Sims response, though. You know how it's in the Sims it's like a plus sign or a minus sign, but you get like the arrows? Here in this game, I love that. I love that. Could you imagine if we had that in real life? You would actually know when people are upset with you without them just being, you know, passive aggressive. <laughs> Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Do I? That'd be helpful and terrifying. It, but you can wait at his desk. I don't think it would be terrifying if it was the norm, because we'd be so used to it, right? And there'd be less like beating around the bush situations, and people would be more honest. I think. Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. That would help you out so much. Well, I find that people people seem to. Here's the thing: if you're honest right off the bat about like anything, you don't have to worry about. First of all. You don't have to worry about making up stories in your head and like remembering them, like if you're lying or whatever. And second of all, if you're already like honest from the get-go, you get the results that are meant to happen right off the bat. So yeah, I don't know. 
You might be in shock. Just, just it makes it makes sense to me. <laughs> a Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have clashed. Where am I going? Am I supposed to sit somewhere? Warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to I wasn't paying attention. I'm looking for my friend. But first I'm gonna snoop. <clears throat> am I allowed to snoop? I found Lieutenant Anderson. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Sit down. Like IRL Groot. <laughs> kind of. I'm just sitting here. Alipsa! Listen. I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. We're playing with robots today. <laughs> nice. And alive? Oh, is that hair? Oh, it's dog hair. <gasps> it's a St. Bernard! You guys remember that movie from the 90s? Uh, what's it called? Beethoven? That was such an old movie. Hey, it's the guy! It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office. It's the guy! Hello, the guy. I'm following. I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now... We're getting reports of assaults, and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation. And Connor's like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Elephants in the I room. Don't know how to deal with this shit. <laughs> I am the least qualified cop in the country. To this this is awkward. <laughs> I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and mm. you let me hold the bag. Um, Cyberlife sent over this android to we help don't with know the investigation. Who, I, don't, I don't know it's a who you are. Don't prototype. post links Elect in my chat, partner. please. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Do I have a mod? Hey, you are seriously starting to piss me off. In you chat, police they can delete that. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder. Because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitching. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Thanks, Avian. Um, well, then. I won't keep you any longer. Have a nice day, Captain. I, uh, Hi, Hedros. How's it going? It's good to see you. <laughs> Am 
Where am I going now? Um, let's check this. This is Detroit, become human. Hi, pizza dude, how's it going? Um, constructive. It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. <laughs> now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. <laughs> this is not awkward at all. <laughs> Hi, Steven. How's it going? <laughs> I'm gonna sit down at my new desk. <laughs> Look at him pouting like a big baby. I mean, listen. <laughs> Oh, we have a bunch of- ooh. Let's talk about the dog! You have a dog, right? How do you know that? I've oh, been snooping so through your shit! I <laughs> so like what? dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Jeez. Sumo. I call him Sumo. <laughs> nice. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? I like dogs! <laughs> Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Ooh. Whoops. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, <laughs> I don't really listen to music as such. But I'd like to. <laughs> Take a look at these samples yet? Do you listen to them? Because I like them. You listen to music? No. <laughs> having androids around. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is there any reason in particular you despise me? Huh? <laughs> yeah. There is one. <sighs> I love Connor. <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> well, have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. Start working. Just... If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Okay, let's do this. Um. Okay. Hey, I remember this guy. Isn't this guy the clerk from the uh the place? He worked he worked he he sold the paints to Marcus, didn't he? Case reference attack. His name is Charles or the victim is Charles. He was attacked by him working as a waiter. Wait. If he's a robot, there's a lot of robots look the same. Oh, okay. So he's a waiter. This one's a waiter, but he looks like the other guy. The android was nowhere to be found, no trace of the break-in in the apartment. The android may have left the home without being ordered to. Okay. 
So this was a disappearance. This guy just disappeared. This guy attacked a guy. Doing okay, about to make some soup. Ooh, what kind of soup are you making? I love soup. So there's like a lot of Marcus robots, lots of Kara robots. They're uh, a model, oh, okay. They're a model of robots, okay. That's an attack. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android. The android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. The plaintiff, uh, okay, this is a disappearance to the manager of the Eden Club reported. This is a sex android. It disappeared. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Well, he probably stole it. All the same series look the same. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit. Vegetable soup, yum. Across the country. Now I want to make soup. I think I'm going to make soup for dinner. You have inspired me to make soup for dinner. I think my game froze. <laughs> An AX400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for Really? <laughs> that makes sense. No soup for you. You know I met Thomas, the the guy that plays the soup guy from Seinfeld. At a Comic-Con. Professional. I know you didn't ask for this investigation, Lieutenant. But I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> That's so mean. Determined. Determination. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like work. I didn't come here to fuck around, says Connor. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of Hi, Helen! How's it going? To it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. We have said Clancy Brown. <laughs> I, I guess? My robot's like, my suit! Oopsies. That's okay, we're gonna become best buds later. <laughs> Mark my word. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> he probably doesn't like me. You're